A swarm of cheap drones armed with small explosives could cause massive damage to American military assets, including the Patriot Air Defense System. John Rood, Under Secretary of Defense for Policy, recently stated, We are seeing asymmetric investments in things like swarming UAS technology, like unmanned aerial systems that really fly more like the cruise missiles. It's a serious problem. The Department of State Press Service quoted Secretary of State Mike Pompeo as saying after the Patriots' recent failure in Saudi Arabia, We've seen air defense systems all around the world have mixed success. Some of the finest in the world don't always pick things up. We want to work to make sure that infrastructure and resources are put in place such that attacks like this would be less successful than this one appears to have been. Given that the Patriot couldn't detect the drones, it can be said that they are themselves vulnerable to a strike. So it can be said that the protector needs protection. The U.S. military will have to address the growing challenge of targeting small, basic, but potentially lethal drones. To meet this kind of threat, U.S. military will be inducting Kamikaze drone. In this video, Defense Updates reports on Raytheon's Howler Counter Unmanned Aerial Systems to protect Patriot Air Defense Systems. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer All Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The proliferation of drone technology has meant that the chances of facing asymmetric threats are much greater than it was a decade before. In January 2018, Russian forces faced a drone swarm launched against Kamemem Air Base in Syria. The Russians were able to neutralize these drones. Though the attack was able to inflict limited damage, it indicated that the threat of the drone swarm had arrived. A recent example is the September attack on Saudi Arabia. On September 14, facilities on Saudi Arabia's oil company, Aramco, located in the east of the country, came under attack. As per reports, the raid began around 4 a.m., and drones as well as cruise missiles were used in the attack. There were 18 drones and 7 missiles. Being facilities of very significant importance, they were protected by layered air defense. The outer layer was Patriot Pac-2 surface-to-air missile batteries that the U.S. sold to Saudi Arabia to intercept aircraft and missiles. The inner layer consisted of several short-range automatic gun systems that were designed for last-ditch defense. In this case, the Patriot Air Defense failed to detect the incoming threats or was too late. From amateur videos available online, it seems Patriot fired interceptor missiles randomly which failed to bring down the intended targets. The automatic gun systems were fired sporadically, but the threats were not taken down. The attack disrupted shipments of 5.7 million barrels of oil daily, which is around 50% of Saudi Arabia's output, and this caused a spike in global oil prices. A future attack could target the Patriot air defense systems directly. This is where Raytheon's Howler system comes in. The Patriot missile system, manufactured by Raytheon, is an air defense system designed to protect against different kinds of aerial threats. It entered service in 1981. The Patriot system has four major operational functions – communications, command and control, radar surveillance, and missile guidance. The four functions are designed to work seamlessly to provide a coordinated, secure, integrated, mobile air defense system. Different variants of Patriot systems have been sold to many countries like the Netherlands, Poland, Germany, Japan, Israel, Saudi Arabia, and Kuwait to name a few. 
The Patriot system is expected to remain in the service until at least 2040. The eye of the Patriot air defense system is the ANMPQ-65 radar, which is used to detect and track targets. The ANMPQ-65 radar is a passive electronically scanned array radar. It is equipped with IFF identification, friend or foe, and electronic counter countermeasure to resist jamming. The radar has a range of around 100 miles or 160 kilometers. The PAC-2 missile is 5.8 meters, 19 feet 0 inches long, weighs about 900 kilograms, that's 2,000 pounds, and is propelled by a solid-fueled rocket motor. It has a range of 45 miles or 70 kilometers and can reach a maximum altitude of 15 miles or 24 kilometers. A Patriot surface-to-air missile costs around $1 million each and is not designed to counter small drones. John Hobday, head of business development for Coyote and rapid development programs at Raytheon Missile Systems, stated, You don't want to shoot a Patriot at a small UAV because that's an important asset to take on a much more complex target. So that's why the Army came to us with this counter UAS program. And they said, Hey, Patriot's great for what it does, but we have to deal now with this new emerging target and we need to do it in a cost effective way and we have to do it quickly. Howler combines the capabilities of Raytheon's KU Band Radio Frequency or KURFS system, multi mission simultaneous radar, and Coyote unmanned aircraft system. Coyote works with KURFS using its advanced seeker and warhead to identify and eliminate UAS threats. Howler consists of mainly three components. One, Two four-tube launchers on standard Army 6x6 tactical truck for launching coyotes. Two, KURFS fire control radar to cue in the coyote to intercept their targets. Three, a generator to provide the necessary power. Coyote weighs less than 10 pounds. It can be launched by firing like a traditional missile from a launch tube. So coyote could potentially be launched from air, sea, and land in the future. Once it leaves the launcher, the drone deploys its six-foot-wide main wing, rear stabilizer, and tail fins. The operator can now issue commands to control and direct it. According to Military.com, the KRFS directed modified Block 1B versions successfully hit 11 out of 12 targets. Specifications like range and endurance have not been divulged. As per reports, the Block 2 variant, which is more advanced than Block 1B being acquired by U.S. Army, can loiter up to one hour and has a range of 50 miles. According to Raytheon, multiple coyotes might be able to defeat drone swarms too. The company could load it with software that it developed as part of the U.S. Navy's low-cost UAV swarming technology effort, or LOCUST, which lets them operate as a group themselves. The Patriot system is responsible for providing air defense cover to many important American assets like air bases. Given that it's been found to be vulnerable to the New Age drone, it's prudent for the American military to find a counter. Howler seems to fit the scenario. Cliff Johnson, Director of Tactical Radar Business Development for Raytheon Integrated Defense Systems, explained integrating the Howler with the Patriot doesn't just add defense capabilities. It also creates a further layer of protection for the larger system. He said, So we'll have a howler system to defeat any of those small, unmanned aerial vehicles that may want to be a kamikaze type of missile into the Patriot system itself. So that's a classic piece of how we're integrating and keeping that layered air defense and counter UAS architecture together to protect the protector. It remains to be seen how things pan out in the future. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.